The next step is to replace the deteriorated lining fabric on the reverse of the painting. But first, the newly cleaned original paint layer must be protected. We are in the process of facing the picture, placing a protective layer of tissue on the cleaned paint layer. Uh, this is done with a reversible adhesive and we're doing this to protect the face of the painting because the picture is going on the floor face down. We will be removing the painting from the stretcher and the stretcher will be taken away and then the lining that is presently on the reverse of the original canvas will be removed. The painting is removed from the wooden stretcher. The old lining fabric on the back is then removed. Next, the old glue paste adhesive on the reverse of the original canvas is reduced to prepare the canvas for its new lining. Any repairs to the canvas are made at this stage. In the last few days, we've been working on the reverse of the canvas, and our viewers who are coming in to see the painting are a bit surprised at the condition and the appearance of the painting. This is a wonderful opportunity, and probably the only opportunity that they'll have to see the reverse of a 350-year-old painting. A new lining fabric is prepared and affixed to the original canvas with a non-penetrating, stable synthetic resin adhesive. The first step in lining is to uh, attach the adhesive to the back of the primary canvas. The adhesive is, is a thin film that comes in sheets and uh, it's rolled out onto the back of the primary canvas and attached to the canvas with heated platens. The adhesive is thermoplastic and requires a certain temperature uh, to activate it. This is done with the specially designed platens. After, after the lining adhesive is attached to the primary canvas, we begin to attach the lining fabric uh, uh, to the primary canvas in the same manner that we apply the adhesive, that is with the heated platens. The lined painting is reattached to the wooden stretcher and proper tension is placed on the canvas to prevent sagging and bulges. Once we attach the painting to the stretcher, we lifted it to put it on a cart and bring it down to the laboratory, but it was a very, very important and sort of exciting point in the treatment. It was at that point that we could see if our registration on the stretcher was good, and it was. It looked beautiful. And if, in fact, we had eliminated the major bulges, the ripples, the delamination, and the deformations in, in the plane of the picture, and to check the tension on the canvas. And when it was lifted, after we checked it, we were very, very pleased with the results of this lining.